So, I knocked off uh, all the bees from this hive, which were leg workers. And I would plan on taking this hive just away, put it in storage. But they kind of moved in, and it has five frames in it, and they're empty, and whatever, that's fine. If they want to move in here, I guess it, it'll kind of, ouch, stupid bee. Why do you do that? Oh, another one on my finger. Anyway, um, oh, another one on my finger. Well, let's get the smoke. Anyway, so, anyway, so, uh, I guess I'll just leave this hive out here and, um, whatever. I figure maybe a swarm might take it over. Apparently swarms can tell when something's wrong with the hive and they will sometimes mm -hmm. take over a hive. I actually had that happen at my house one time. Uh, a swarm came in with a whole bunch of virgin queens and it, um, what did it do? They, uh, they went into a hive that had a queen cage. I kind of forgot about it. But after in a week, she actually got her original ter territory back and I put all those virgins and nukes and I think only one of them took, if, if that even. It's terrible. I mean, they were like 11 virgin, virgin queens. But anyway, so in this hive, I shall leave it here. Stick bees are trying to sting my face. Leave this here, and all the bees that don't have a home can claim this as their home. They can lay it fill with drones or whatever they want, and clean up the comb maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of a firm believer of, uh, well, I'm new, so I'm not too firm on anything, but I I'm, I'm of the thought that it's probably better to really get fresh comb like just let if they need comb let them build it they really seem to prefer it so much more over comb that's built out um i mean when they build it fast they build it really fast so they know what they're doing more than i do but anyway yeah so we'll just wrap this guy up here ah there we go proper top sort of large blows yeah I guess that's it for the bees today although I've got the one hive in the hangar I gotta I think I'm just gonna leave them for another week then I'll move them all right I am um, I put water out for my bees and I put in straw so they don't drown but after about a week it turns kind of nasty colored so I was trying to think of maybe something else I could use is I was thinking this foam if I cut a pattern that'll fit here but then I have to put a whole bunch of little holes in here and I've done that before. I've melted them in, but I think I'm gonna try something. That and that and that. We'll see how it works. Well, there's the foam. Uh, this guy's being uncooperative. And we'll see. I don't know how, I don't really know too much about guns. Like I don't play with them much, but I don't know how far I need to get to get a decent spread where I don't want to shatter my foam. I just want a bunch of little holes in it. So I'll, I'll try far away. I hope this is just little tiny shot. Not that home defense stuff, cause man, that stuff hurts. But anyway, let's try this. Should be fun at least.